You have competition, Audrey. Oh, yeah. That was good. It's it's great. <clears throat> Bravo. <laughs> Anyone else want to sing? Zara? No, thanks. I'm done singing for my supper. Oh, she'll sing. She's a survivor. Join us, Ruth. I have something to tell you. Be careful, Ruth. Don't trust anything he says. Sorry. Shh, shh, shh. You knew my mom? Well, he's trying to turn the train against going back for her. <laughs> oh, for pity's sake. I'm sorry about the bloody puppies. She's waiting trackside, and we have to complete this mission. No! <laughs> I'm no longer prepared to risk us taking two trains across that pass. Have you figured out what the census is for yet? Are you close? What is it for? Mr. Wilford? Why don't you tell them? what you did on Big Alice. There were 200 of us at first. But then when he realized what a drain of resources we were, he called half of us, men, women, children, he took their how lives. How dare you? On their souls, how dare you make me relive it? Take it to the brig. Don't worry, I've been there before. Bruce, he's coming for you. Sit down, Bruce. As you know, sir, hospitality never sits. Nonsense. You've been wondering who that setting's for all night. It's for you. For me? Yes. Today's all about you, Ruth. Sit down. Kevin! I know you're up there. Come down, you naughty little boy. Well. We're all having a wonderful time. Ruth, I want to thank you for an impeccable evening. You've outdone yourself. Kevin, my lad, you've come through so much, and you've put on an amazing carnival. It's my honor, sir. Sit down. You understand there's a glut in hospitality, which means there's only room for one head of department. Job yours, Ruth. <laughs> ah. Oh, shut up, Kevin. By my side. It's like you always wanted. All you have to do is address the train, inform them officially we're not returning for Melanie. Jake's in my offer. Yes, I am. Take off your teals. <laughs> 